Hello YouTube. Uh, I was just about to leave work for the day and I picked up this email which I just thought I'd read to you and then talk to you for a minute. It's from an organisation called Enlightenext, which is basically the vehicle for uh, Andrew Cohen, who's a kind of new age guru who combines... Um, well, I'll just read it and we'll see where we go from there. It's, uh, it's basically an invitation to attend, uh, what, is it, what do they call it, a conference call about collective spiritual development. And then they talk about evolutionary enlightenment. This is what it says. At the heart of evolutionary enlightenment is an awakening to the creative force of the cosmos. Many evolutionaries, and it's capitalized evolutionaries, many evolutionaries have had this experience of recognizing their own passion to evolve as the very same energy of evolution that drives all creation in the universe. Under the right circumstances, this experience can happen simultaneously between people, italicized. In this shared experience of evolutionary awakening, we recognize most powerfully that we are all inspired and animated by the same source of creative energy. This type of awakening can dramatically change your understanding of what it means to be human and open up possibilities for evolutionary cooperation far beyond what had previously been available. And then it goes on to talk about how you might participate in what they call this conference call uh, and I assume oh, eventually they want you to sign up for this two-day virtual retreat with Andrew Cohen on February 13th and 14th, um, which of course costs money. I don't know why I get these emails. I, I get these emails because I, I, I went to a seminar once, it wasn't with Andrew Cohen, but it was about Andrew Cohen and it was held by some people who obviously held Andrew Cohen in quite high esteem and I put my, my email on the, the circulation list and still get it and I quite enjoy reading them even though they irritate the hell out of me so I haven't uh, unsubscribed from that list but the, the, re the reason why it irritates me is is this well it's a combination of reasons evolutionary enlightenment it's this it's this whole series of, of ideas to do with consciousness, to do with enlightenment and to do with evolution and the confluence of those things that are put together in this kind of idea. Several problems with that. Firstly a problem to do with evolution of consciousness. The evolution of consciousness. I have no issue at all with the idea that consciousness evolved. In fact I've got a book at home called The Evolution of Consciousness which is it's just great. You know, It describes it and I've read other areas in which you know, over the thousands and millions of years, how um, animals which uh, had some kind of a central nervous system for getting around and interacting with their environment might uh, need some kind of more complex system to, to, uh, to uh, optimize that process. And by the accumulation of these um, optimized modules for interacting with one's environment and interacting socially and interacting internally with one's own bodily milieu, uh, eventually that accretes uh, into something that we call contemporary consciousness. I have no problem with that evolutionary narrative. What I do have a problem with is what's implied in this is that, um, well two things actually. One thing is that some people are more consciously evolved than others, which these people who are e uh, capitalized as evolutionaries here we're not, let me clarify my position on that, no one is more, has a more evolved consciousness than anyone else, any more than any, someone's got a more evolved pancreas than anybody else, or a more evolved liver than anybody else. Consciousness is a, is a, a function that's evolved over time to serve particular um, biological and social and uh, needs, many of which are, are undoubtedly wonderful and creative and fantastic. Um, but no one's consciousness is any more evolved than anybody else. So that's the first I, problem I have. And then the promise that seems to be implied here is that not only do some people have an evolved consciousness, but they can teach you how to evolve your consciousness. And you, they can't. You, they really can't. You can't evolve someone's consciousness. You can learn things, and there's some parallel, perhaps, it's been suggested, and this is something that... Um, what's it called, Edelman talks about. It is perhaps possible to learn things and that process involves neuronal processes which may be Darwinian, you know, so there's a, there's a sense in which some kind of 
natural selection of ideas is going on, a natural selection of dendrites which carry ideas might be going on in the brain, but that's not the same thing as the evolution of consciousness. It's really, really not. It's education, it's learning, that's what that is. And since I'm in education myself, of course, I'm, 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 I'm fully behind the idea of learning and, and, uh, and educating oneself or or getting together with a group of other people and pooling learning resources. That's, I have no problem with that at all. But the idea that um, the consciousness evolves and that some, that some highly evolved evolutionaries who have already achieved it can, uh, can teach you how to evolve your consciousness is it's completely bogus, it really is. And what I find particularly galling about this approach is the, is the methodology that it, that it has. You know, this language that they're addressing me with is, 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 is very particularly um, crafted. And it's crafted to locate me uh, as a person whose consciousness is slightly more evolved than other people. There's a real hierarchy being allude, uh, alluded to here. This idea, many evolutionaries have had this experience of recognizing their own passion to evolve. It's not talking about some random guy I've never heard of. It's kind of suggesting that you know, maybe I'm this person. Maybe I've had feelings that I'm pretty good at stuff. And maybe I've had uh, new, you know, experiences which feel uh, subjectively very interesting. Of course I have. Everybody has. That's kind of the point, really. Um, so it's, it's, it, it sets up this hierarchy. And then, for, for what I think are really marketing reasons, it sets up this hierarchy of evolutionary consciousness. Totally bogus and then places me as a potential buyer into this about halfway up. Um, it places themselves at the top and, gives, and builds in me of supposedly an aspiration to climb, but also by implication it also appeals to my snobbishness. I'm halfway up it seems to be saying, look, you're, you're already better than half the human race who've got less evolved consciousness than you have, because look, here you are reading about it, you must have a semi-evolved consciousness. Just one more step, you know, just pay for one more retreat with Andrew Cohen, and you too could have a fully evolved consciousness, and won't that be fantastic? Then I can capitalise my evolutionary nature. Oh, it's just bogus. It really is. I'm sorry, this, this is the kind of thing that really irritates me. I see a lot of it on YouTube. I think there's a lot of it in Ken Wilber's writings and that whole integral stuff. I mean, some of it's good, don't get me wrong, but a lot of the hierarchical stuff around uh, around that is just very very dodgy the spiral dynamics stuff and I know a lot of people like spiral dynamics but that does exactly the same thing that this does it presents a hierarchy of of, uh, of developed mind and uh, and then carefully positions you as a buyer into the system just about halfway up so you can feel superior to those people who are at the bottom of the, evol of the evolutionary spiral the consciousness spiral and um, you know and, and sign up for the next course that will get you one stage up I don't, it's, it's not right. We all have, we're all at exactly the same point in evolutionary history. That's every, all of us. And we all have the same pancreas, we all have the same liver, and we all have the same consciousness. Uh, there's no shortcuts to the future. And I hope that makes sense. Thanks for listening.